me from our studio here at Bedby Primary School in Sunderland. My name is Saskia and my name is Elle. Today we're going to be looking at some of the wild animals that live in our towns and cities in the northeast of England. Yes, that's right. Our friends at Durban Wildlife Trust have been setting up video cameras in our gardens, parks and streets to see what animals come out at night while we are tucked up in bed. And as you will see, amazing wildlife is closer than you think. Let's take a look at some of that wildlife now. Our first animal is a hedgehog. The hedgehog is the UK's only spiny mammal. They have a coat with over 6,000 spines on their back. Hedgehogs live in woodland, farmland and even in your back garden. Hedgehogs usually grow to about 25 centimetres long with a bulky body weighing of about 1 kilogram. The tail is between 2 and 3 centimetres long. Well, how long do they live for? They live to about 5 to 6 years depending on their physical wealth. They are omnivorous and eat beetles, slugs, snails and other insects. What do you mean by omnivorous? It means they eat both meat and plants. Wow, Elle, that's something I surely did not know. Did you know that hedgehogs are usually brown? Yes, of course. I saw them the other night whilst walking through some grassland. Guess what? What? Whilst I was walking through some, some grassland, I saw a rabbit. I would have expected to see one there. Yes, and you could also see them in farmland and even your back garden. Wow, rabbits are vegetarian. Yes, and they really like carrots. Yes, I know. Rabbits go to, a, go to about 20, 45 centimetres long. This is some lovely footage of rabbits we are looking at. Well, Elle, I suppose we both think alike about nature. Let's go and check out in our good friends, the Badger family. Badgers live underground, barrels called sets. Well, I suppose a badger could live underground because he is certainly built for digging. The name badger comes from the French word bûcher, which means digger. Badgers have very stocky bodies, which means they are well built and strong. Shh, Saskia, they prefer to live in undisturbed woodland, but you can find them living in urban areas. I heard they are nocturnal. What does that mean? It means they mainly come out at night, so if you see one in the daytime, you are very surely lucky. They live in family groups called clans. That's so interesting, but what do they behave like? Badgers are one of our most shy and harmless animals. They are recognised by their two facial stripes. Badgers are our heaviest carnivore and weigh around 18 kilograms. Badgers grow to around 80 centimetres in length and have a short tail of around 15 centimetres. What do badgers eat? Badgers are omnivorous, which as you know means they eat both meat and plant. They also like a good scratch, and like most families, they squabble all the time too. Wow, Elle, you almost know everything about badgers. I heard badgers are mischievous and playful. Yes, and that reminds me of another video I collected. It's hilarious. Look, if we travel up, we will probably find the otter's habitat, which is rivers, streams and lakes. Females are approximately 100 centimetres and males are approximately 115 centimetres from the nose to the tip of their tail. Otters eat fish and crabs. They are wet and slimy. Otters have a long body and a powerful tail. We care about them and so should everybody else. Yes, I totally agree with you. Let's go and check out on our last animal of the day. A fox. Foxes are seen throughout the air and are creatures in the countryside. However, you can see them in cities, towns and maybe in your gardens. An adult fox is 70 centimetres long from its head to the tail. The bushy tail is also known as the brush. It is around 40 centimetres long. They mostly eat rats, min, mice, voles and moles. <laughs> but in cities or towns they scavenge your household scraps out of your waste bin. Foxes are mostly nocturnal, which means they only come out at night, but sometimes can be seen throughout the daytime. Well, that's all we have time for today, but thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next time. See, see you later, nature lovers.